Hey guys, Ella Moorbridge here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. Sorry I'm a few minutes late. I was helping out a downline who messaged me and I was a quick answer back, so I do apologise. Today I... Mm, my cards. Got them, got them. Today I am here by popular demand. I might say you guys voted yesterday you wanted me to play with another Christmas card live. And I am using the For Onto Us stamp set. And I am using the detailed dove dies. But we're not making a dove. Hmm, I hear you all say. I'll show you the card as well. So, I have two versions of the card. This is my pared down version of the card. So, angels, not doves, angels. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining. And this is my stepped up version. Let me see if you can grab that. Um, it's the metallic mesh ribbon and just a very simple gem so that's my stepped up version so making those today do you know what i haven't done i know two nights in a row and i haven't popped in my um shop details i do wonder if i can do that while i'm live because if you girls would like to purchase anything that I play with today, um, I would love you to purchase off me. But let me just see if I can bring up my video here. <laughs> yes, here is my video. I am on to it. Um, sorry, I'm a, I'm a titch vague. Woke up very early for the Leaders Summit this morning. And, sorry, pulling things away. If any of you have missed what was in my Tiffany box, I posted a photo earlier and it was a pair of crystal champagne flutes that were etched with the Stampin' Up! logo. And I did not have alcohol in it because I had to drive the kids to school after this morning's presentation. So, um, yeah, I haven't done that. So we're midday here. I woke up at five and I've got to be awake at three tomorrow morning to have a shower and be ready for the Leaders Summit tomorrow. So... Let's see how I'm faring next week. I do predict I will be a bit tired. Oh, thank you, Shelley. I just put the phone on timer and went, smile. So, you know, I tried. I tried. There was no makeup. Wasn't makeuping this morning. They are gorgeous um, champagne flutes. And I was most excited that it didn't come from any Tiffany store. It came from from the New York Tiffany store on Astoria Avenue, which I was really excited about. So it definitely came from the flagship store and my first Tiffany box. So I was excited, but let's flip around, play with this card and I will see if I can add, I can edit the video. So I might talk to you guys while I flip around and I will add those details. I'm obviously not firing on all cylinders today and had that information copied ready to go. So I do apologise there. Whoops. What's happened here? Okay, I flicked myself around. Hello, Mrs. Newman. Did you drink out of your champagne flute today? I do hope so. Mine's already washed up, ready to put away. Although I put it away very safely as soon as I opened the box last Friday. So, yeah. Hey, guys. Thank you. I'll go and turn off my shadows and I'll be back in a shape. with me um two seconds here while well, i pop this information up 
in my details here. I am here, I promise. And I do hope you are all having a lovely day. I hope the weather is fine because we are having such a lovely day here on the sunny central coast of New South Wales. I can happily say it's beautiful. Even David, I think, might be asleep in the sun. I can see his legs behind the clothes on the washing line, which is quite funny. I need the washing line to turn around to see if he's actually awake. Okay. Uh, right. Great, great, great. I'm getting there. So these are the... These are the things that I have used today, or I will be using. So just bear with me a titch here, sorry. Talking and doing isn't necessarily as easy as one would think when you're cutting and pasting and doing all those things. Uh, right. So you guys keep going. But I love, what I love most about these cards is the subtle texture. So this card, whilst it looks very simple and clean, it really is all about texture. And by texture, I mean the embossing folder, the vellum, the stitching, the uh, layered die cuts, It's and then the mesh ribbon. It is all about texture hmm. by the looks of it I cannot <sighs> by the looks of it I can't edit what I wanted to do how painful is that all I want to do is add in some details But I've never done this on a live video before. Aha, here we go. Maybe I can. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can. I can see where I want to press, but it's not looking at me. I will put up those shop details after the live video because I do have it all um I do have it all copied, ready to paste over. So Right, let's see if I can get my video back up. Um, very, very simple stamping today, just in Smoky Slate ink. And we've got Smoky Slate card base as well. Sorry, just getting my video back up here. Thank you for bearing with me and seeing if I could do the edits that I wanted to do. Hello Pamela, hello Marjean, Donna, Shelley, Jennifer. What could this, this could, how could it be a Christmas tree? I don't see it Jennifer. Hey Rose, hey Margie, thank you for sharing, I appreciate it. Hello Barbara. Oh, it's chilling, ready for later. I do have a bottle of bubbly I got for promoting sitting in the cupboard. No, if, if I had it now. Oh, yes, it would have mixed with your medications. That wouldn't have been good. Oh, will you enjoy your friend over for the weekend and watch me later? Thank you for dropping in, Leonie. Okay, I do need my card kits. That will kind of help, wouldn't it, guys? Okay, I have my card kits here. So I have two card bases, or two card bases, two card fronts, and I have an extra, a couple of extra die cuts. Always, always needed in case I stuff up my stamping. So that's where I think I will start, is with my stamping. And I also have out, I have a sneaking suspicion that this ink pad is going a titch dry. So I do have the refill 
out beside me as I dropped my card on the ground. Uh, we surprised here, people. I've dropped lots of things on the ground just then. I'm having day people, apparently. Sorry, grabbing things from under the desk that I pick up and throw away again. One of these, and I will need to grab my take your pick tool, which picks up everything off my floor. And one of these, right. Okay, so I think this is dry, and if I need to re-ink it, we can. So let's see if we can pop the stamp set and the card just there. I will move these dies and I'll bring them back in to show you which bits I've used. But for our stamping pieces, I have used our second largest of the circle in the stitched shape dies. I use these all the time. One of my most, most, most used die sets. Put the pieces closer and angle them if necessarily. Hey, Linda. Hey, Delinda. I need... I don't know how good it would look, but you can play with them. Hmm. Hey, Jenny. Jennifer, I'm... I need you to make it, and I need to see it. Maybe we need to zoom together or something. So I can see it. So I have two die cuts here. I did have a scrap. I have the stamp. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's on the block. It's all good. Okay. I'm going to test this first. Because even though I have lots of die cuts. I just like testing it first. Well, you girls know I always first yeah that appears quite a bit dry actually yep that is definitely dry so what I will do I have here this is how I store my um, reinkers I store them by color family and I store them in our full wide cases that is that looks right. That is smoky slate. Awesome. And I just store them like this with all the colour family friends on my shelf. So that works really well. I don't know why, but my... This is confusing. A Jenny, a Jennifer. I normally have multiples of everyone here. Jenny, so... Um, yeah. Yeah. Most of you know who I'm talking to. There's only one Josie. Quite often we have a Margaret and a Margie. Um, what's the other one that we have quite a few of? There are a lot of double ups on names. But you know, I try and call you by your name. If not, I go, hey you. And then whoever will answer. Do you think I can get this lid back on today? No. Okay, now I have a bone folder completely dedicated to re-inking ink pads and it's pretty stained. So I've put the drops on. Now I'm going to smooth it out so it's even. And then I'm going to take, and I have them right here next to me today, I'm going to take a baby wipe. Just wipe this off actually there's barely any excess ink which is great so wipe that off and this uh, baby wipe will go back in the top of my container and i can use that again later now that ink pad is now nice and smooth can you girls tell what i've been playing with this morning a sneak peek of a card coming next month. That looks better. That looks nice and even now. Now just to get it lined up, 
on here which is sort of a good thing I just mounted this on an angle it does allow you to see the outside of the circle and better line this up now that is not perfect but it is stamped whoever I give it to will be appreciative that I have put the effort in to make this card for them okay two circles stamped now I keep on dragging all the wings and my excess circles off my table with my elbow hold on one second and I've got a vellum a vellum um one of these let me show you I have a vellum I'm trying to find a good way to show you these are our vellum doilies they are in our annual catalog sorry still picking up stuff off the floor these are in our annual catalog and they are just stunning I I've tried them on many cards and I've always tried to use them square which is fine but I think for the circle they do work best on an angle so let me grab this one now I'm I need... not sure I understand yes of course you don't understand because I'm not talking to you Siri okay right Everything is up off the floor and away from my elbows. So that's an extra. I'll put that there. So next, part of the inspiration for this card was the angel wings that get graffitied on brick on the sides of buildings. So I wanted to incorporate our brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. So let me grab that we're also going to grab our cut and emboss machine and if you are my embossing folder now I would just want to talk to you about embossing folders embossing folders in the new machine the ones that have just the Stampin' Up! logo we use the base plate and we use the specialty plate which is this grey one if it has the Stampin' Up! logo and the Sizzix logo which are our older embossing folders you just use a clear plate rather than the specialty plate so I, that was I will be doing a little video on that over the weekend just to explain that in a little video but it bears it bears um reminding you guys because it is not explained on the base plate because they're making the assumption that we all have embossing folders that are just produced by Stampin' Up! because they're the only ones that they sell but some of our current designs uh, were previously produced by Sizzix look how good this embossing folder goes through guys amazing what a new machine does hey I think this is the first time I've used the new machine on camera with you guys that went through spine and all and you can see how beautifully that is embossed now some of these bricks protrude a bit more than others and one of my downline when we were making this card last weekend she said can I have your winker Stella? I went, yeah, why? What are you going to do? And she used, oops, make sure that grabs. Um, she used winker Stella to highlight the a few of the bricks, which looked amazing. Sorry, 
a good storage ID. These um, messages are coming through like really, really late. Hey Myrtle, I don't have the dice. Maybe we need to get on video chat, Jennifer, and do it together. We might do a Zoom. Thank you for sharing, Myrtle. Sorry, you girls, I've just got like all these messages up that weren't there before. Thank you, Linda. They're getting changed on Tuesday. I like the diamond shape too. I think Jennifer and I might have been on um, Denise's Zoom when I was making these cards actually I can't quite remember a friend of mine had several friends named Jennifer ah, I'll let you girls talk about your names while I get moving but I am in love with my new machine and I am very glad that everyone else is able to purchase it as of the first of the first of September that is available and we are also on the first of September getting the magnetic plate which I am most happy about okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to do what my downline did and just highlight a few of these very protruding bricks just the ones on the edge because I know this is going to be covered up so one I'm going to go all out and do all this extra bling and the other one I'm going to keep very simple like my original card so then you can see how simple and how extravagant you can make this card I've got one more here just a titch there so I'll show you if I can find my lid for my Winker Stella okay now let's see if I can show you that should be able to see it I hope hey Renee thanks for joining I know the folder is great the new machine yet yeah, so much better than my old machine oh good you can see those protruding bricks hey Roz thanks for joining yes it is Winker Stella Susan Jennifer is in the US I know so pretty so what I'm going to start with for our adhering is use my seal and it's really really hard doing this part is so super duper simple so I go roughly I know where this is all going to be covered up so I just put a stripe in the middle because I just want to tack this down basically and I'm going to, whoop, no, that's right, going to adhere our vellum doily down. Now, some of these doilies, when you get them, still do have a couple of bits and bobs in them. And you just need to pop those out. Oh, I love how this shimmer shows through here. So pretty. Now, on this one that I am bringing out to the nines, I want to put some of this, now I'll get the name right, Metallic Mesh Ribbon. Now, this is in the Halloween section of the mini catalogue, but I think the softness of it goes really, really well for Christmas as well not just Halloween so don't overlook some of those Halloween items for your Christmas projects 
Um, uh, is that doily sold? No, the doily is sold exactly like this, Susan. I haven't cut it. I can't find my packet at the moment of them, actually. The packet has gone walkabout. Oh, no, here. You get them in a pack exactly like that. And you get 24 in the pack. And they're called square vellum doilies. You get them already cut. Ready to use. Nice, super duper simple. Who is going? Oh, okay. No problems, uh, Jenny. We will catch you next time. Now, just to adhere this, I'm going to grab another strip of my stamp and seal and I'm just going to pop this over the middle so we've already got three layers of texture our embossing folder our square vellum doily and our mesh trim so next I'm going to just pop these backgrounds to the side I'm going to bring these in with all of my wings it helps I'm gonna have silver threads everywhere and my cleaner has just left so okay so all our wings when you die cut them and you look at them they all go in one direction but what we're going to have to do is flip one of our wings so then they can sit right way together and I think I have lost another one of these unless they are because I did die cut two together this one I can tell is a little thicker and has ha ha Ta -da! right and has two so I went really simple and easy hey Jay oh enjoy your packing yes have a great time away Jay so all I have done is taken my glue dots and literally put it up here where the glue will be hidden under our stitched circle and glue that down oh there's a big garbage truck out the front so we're doing two in the correct direction and two in the opposite direction because we're making two cards so this card as I said, while simple has a bit of die cutting, I did all this die cutting on my um, cut and emboss machine. And oh my god, it goes like a dream. So I am now inverting these ones. So if I invert the bases, which are just Whisper White cardstock, um, they will work I'm then attaching them the correct way and we don't have any boo-boos okay and even doing it this way you do get a touch extra um, texture because you rather than getting the smooth lines you get slightly inverted edges Sorry, just trying to note the word trying to line this up. It doesn't want to line up and that's okay because nature is not perfect. Okay, I'd love to know what's going on with these comments today. It's like they're coming in in a flutter like two or three minutes after you girls comment. Very very bizarre okay oh, I did really well with that one didn't I okay try again 
nothing's stuck so we're safe okay perfect that time and now what we're going to do is add another glue dot and just pop them under our stitched circle die so pop them in the middle and maybe if I do it this way under that's one then we do the other and then all we have to add is some dimensionals and attach that to the card and then add some bling I think I'll add bling to both because I really liked the addition of the bling so that's one done so do you like how I've used this die not as a dove because I have made and I haven't shared with you yet and I, sh I should do that um, next week sometime I have made a dove using the dove dies and I even got super duper enthusiastic I stuffed up really and I made my team swaps Good night, Barbara. Not a problem at all. Okay, everything's coming through really, really weird. Okay, I just got a flurry of messages again. I'm glad you like this, Delinda. Um, I made my September team swaps for August. So I'm now in a mad flurry to make my colour challenge for the end of the month so it can be scheduled and all of that and make my team swaps it's all happened this month i tell you okay i think we're going to go and use the rest of our edges here i'm glad you like how i've used this susan i um I just wanted to use them a bit differently and I oh know I'm a bit of a fan of angels and angels are a bit of a theme in my family. Um, my uncle who is a priest, he's kind of obsessed with angels. He has a very decent collection of angels and um, yeah, I swear that has rubbed off on me. So what I want to do, I want to cover these edges that where the wings attach just to further enforce those edges and then just add, if this will come off, which it will without the backing, and then just add another one just here, just for, oh look, it looks like a mean guy with all those um, ragged edges. We've made a horror card on the other side, guys. That's pretty funny, actually. Okay, and while that one edge is off, I shall just attach this to one of the card fronts and get that, get that as centered as I can. Okay, so that one's on there, and we just need to do this other one. And there. Okay, good. These edges, because they're so wide, I really want to not leave the base. They're very stubborn, I tell you. I'm glad you love this card. Yes. Better than therapy, but therapy is still sometimes needed. 
Um, and I think I cut a piece over here. Perfect. And they have all these edges used by the end of the weekend. Because I've got like three or four on the go at the moment. So this one we're keeping, one we're keeping super duper simple and one we are blinging out like this. So don't forget these dies come in a bundle with the Dove of Hope or you can buy them by themselves. It's totally up to you. But I do really love the whole bundle. Okay, so both our card fronts. Let's get these card bases prepped. So I will show you a close up when we are done and show you all the bling. Okay, bone folder, it's right here. And this is totally not scored straight. God knows what I was doing when I did this. There we go. Great. That's that done. I always turn them over because it does leave a slight burnish line and which glue use some multi-purpose glue I know the font the fonts full stop in this for onto us stamp set Jamie are stunning and I bought this because the which set did I buy that doesn't have sentiments I did buy a Christmas set I swear they didn't have sentiments no all my Christmas sets have sentiments but who doesn't love a good sentiment and these sentiments are all uh, very much based on Christmas carols which I always love watching the Christmas Eve Christmas carols here I do wonder because it's David's workplace that sponsors um, the big carols in Melbourne every year. Hey, David. David. Yeah. Has work mentioned anything about Christmas carols? No. no. I'm just talking about Christmas carols and wondered um, if they'll actually go ahead this year. Hmm, yeah. because I know that's a big fundraiser because David works for a charity. And it's their big fundraiser of the year. So that will be uh, very interesting come the end of the year. You need these doilies, Myrtle. They are absolutely stunning and so easy to use. You can cut them up. You can use them as is. You can punch them if you wanted to punch a circle. So much you can do with these. And you can even just use a corner piece. They're very, very versatile doily. So I use the wet glue because this is um, the 3D embossing folder. The wet glue just gives us a bit more of... A chance for the surface area to be adhered final touch I'm going to come in with our basic rhinestones and I'm just going to use the medium ones I do have a full sheet here because I'm heading towards the end of this sheet and I'm going to use my take your pick tool and just pop on both. Oh, I think I might want a little one actually. Pop the medium one back. Finish this row of little ones. Just pop it in the middle of each star. 
and for my blinged out shiny card it just finishes it off and for my more simple card it just adds that touch of bling so let me show you these let me show you these close up so this is my very simple texture card so i've used the brick and mortar 3d embossing folder the square square vellum rectangle the detailed dove wings and the stitched circle um round or circle die and just that little bit of bling so that is my very simple one and my very blinged out one exactly the same supplies added two things i added a tinge of winker stella to the most protruded bricks in the background and i added some of our metallic mesh ribbon across the middle so let's look at these side by side just so you can see they're both beautiful it's just a matter of which one um which one works best for your taste so let's get in all those supplies so you can have a visual representation of what i have used so we've used stitch shapes making sure you can still see everything i've used used detailed dove and i've used the brick embossing folder i have used the ribbon and where are those vellum doilies don't tell me i was super efficient and i put them away of course the vellum doilies and of course the bling but you can see here just with some really versatile supplies you can use whichever sentiment you want it doesn't have to be huck the herald angels sing it just happens that this works really really well with the angel wings so yeah this is my card i really enjoyed this card i like showcasing texture sometimes it doesn't have to be a bazillion colors even though the card i'm halfway through making has all the bright bold colors i do like making these understated cards with using vellum and stitch detail and an embossing folder to add that interest and texture if you would like to purchase any of these products i will as soon as we're finished here uh, put a link to my store actually i can push these all up a little bit here i will put a link to my store and you can purchase those and go in the drawer for a stamp set and a and the iridescent pearls that i'm giving away this month for the launch of the holiday catalog so thank you so much guys for joining me i do hope you have an amazing weekend I will catch you on Tuesday next week with new nails. So God knows what I'm going to walk out with this time. And be good. Any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys.